Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how we can create text shadows and box shadows. We'll need some sample text to work with. I'll use an H1 element, type in your name, and we will need a div element. We will eventually create a box. I'll give this div an ID of box1. Good enough. I would like to give this H1 element a shadow. I will select my H1 element. I will set the text shadow property to be, we need two numbers, a horizontal offset and a vertical offset. Let's do one pixel and one pixel. We have an offset to the right of one and down by one. If I were to increase the horizontal offset, let's change this to two. Well, the shadow is moving more to the right. Let's try five, 10, 50. The first number is for the horizontal offset. Let's change that to three. The second number is for the vertical offset. If I change that to five, well, the text is going more downwards. 50 would be this. All right, let's keep that at three though. You could add a third number for a blur. Here's a one pixel blur, two, three, four, five. If this is a really large number like 100, you can't even see the shadow anymore. Let's stick with five, that's a decent amount. You can even change the color too. Let's pick a red color. Eh, that's good. You can add more than one shadow. Within the text shadow property for more than one shadow effect, each shadow is comma separated. So add a comma afterwards. Let's copy what we have, paste it again. I'm going to give the second shadow a negative offset, so it's up and to the left. I'll change the color so it's more distinct. Let's go with the blue color. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah, that's fine. All right, now let's cover box shadows. Let's select our ID of box one. I'll give this box a width of 100 and a height of 100. Let's pick a color too. Background dash color. Let's go with a whitish color so it's just barely visible. Something like that's fine. For other elements besides text, we have box shadow. And really, it's the same process as before. We have a horizontal offset. Let's do three pixels. A vertical offset. Let's do three pixels again. A blur. Let's do five pixels. And a color if we so choose, but I'll keep that the same. Now our box has a 3D pop effect, which is pretty sweet. All right, everybody. So we have text shadows for text and box shadows for other elements. And well, everybody, those are shadows in CSS.